Excellent. So hopefully now you've seen that cos of 20 and cos of 340 degrees will actually give you the same answer. So what the, has this taught us really? Well, it's actually taught us that there's not just one angle within the domain of 360 degrees, that is from here all the way around to here, that will give us the same answer. There's in fact two when dealing with sine, cos and tan. So for all of sine, cos and tan, there's actually two different angles that will give us the same answer. So let's now have a look at this in a little bit more detail, shall we? We're going to have a look at it in terms of a different type of question that you might get. So it says, if sine of theta is equal to 0 0.93, find sine of 180 plus theta. So what we need to do first of all is we just need to draw an angle where sine of that angle will equal 0 0.93. So the first thing we need to do is go through and write our sine and our cos um, axis like here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go all stations to Croydon. That is, all of them are positive, sine's positive, tan's positive, and cos is positive. And then what we need to do is go through and figure out whereabouts our line will be if sine theta is going to be equal to 0 0.93. So let's go through and do that. As you can see here, our sine axis is this one. And 0 0.93 is roughly here. So we go all the way out to this point on the unit circle. And then we join the line to make the angle. So as you can see, there's our angle there. Now, of course, this angle here is equal to theta. So therefore, sine of theta is equal to 0 0.93. That is, sine of this angle here, we don't know what it is and it doesn't matter, but sine of this angle here will give us an answer of 0 0.93. And this will help us out. Because the next part of the question says find sine of 180 plus that angle. So what we need to do is we need to actually go to 180 degrees, which is all the way around to here, and then we need to add that same angle here. So of course we end up getting a line that is going to be in this third quadrant. And as you can see here, our angle is 180 plus theta. That is the 180 degrees plus our theta there that you can see. Now what's that going to give us an answer of? Well, as you can see here, it's going to go all the way down to negative 0 0.93. So therefore, another way of writing this is sine of 180 plus theta is the same as saying a negative answer for sine of theta. Because as you can see here, it's going to be the same answer, but it's going to be negative. So therefore, it's negative 0 0.93. Let's do another example, shall we? It says if cos of theta is equal to 0 0.44, find cos of 360 minus theta. So let's have a think about where cos of theta is actually going to be equal to 0 0.44, shall we? We'll do all stations to Croydon. And whereabouts is cos of theta going to be 0 0.44? Well, we'll draw a line. We're going to look for 0 0.44 along here first of all. So it's around about uh, here probably. Draw it up to that point there. We're now going to make our angle by making the line. And as you can see, this here will be theta. Now, we don't know what theta is once again. It doesn't matter what it is. But what does matter is that we get the right quadrant. So now it's saying find cos of 360 minus theta. So if we go all the way around to 360, and then we minus that same size angle roughly, it's going to come down to roughly here, isn't it? And therefore, it's going to be in the fourth quadrant. And we'll just put all that in there like so. Now, therefore, cos of 360 minus theta, well, that's really going to get us the same answer for cos, isn't it, if we have a look there. So, therefore, cos of 360 minus theta is the same as saying just cos of theta, because it's going to give us the exact same answer, isn't it? So, therefore, it's going to be equal to 0 0.44 once again. All right, so let's now have a look at the next type of question. And this is going to be dealing with actual um, cos but in terms of radians. So let's have a look. It says if cos of theta is equal to 0 0.83, find cos of pi minus theta. So we need to go through and write out sine and cos once again. All stations to Croydon. It's exactly the same as the other questions. But now what we need to do once again is go through and figure out where cos of theta is going to give us an angle of 0 0.83. Not an angle, sorry, an answer of 0 0.83. So cos theta is along the horizontal axis. Where's 0 0.83? Well, it's going to be roughly here. And we're going to draw our line up there like so. Now, the next thing to do, so step two, is to make the angle. So as you can see here, I've now made the angle. Do I care what size that angle is? No. But what I do need to know is where it's going to end up when I do cos of pi minus theta. So where's pi going to be? Well, pi is going to be all the way over here. And when I minus that angle, that same size angle, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up in the second quadrant, as you can see, because I've gone pi 
minus that same size angle because that's what it's asking up here. So therefore, what is cos of pi minus theta going to be? Well, it's going to be the same answer as the cos, but of course, it's not going to be positive anymore. It's going to be negative, isn't it? So because of that, it's going to, we can say that cos of pi minus theta, it's going to be equal to negative value of cos of theta. That is, it's going to be the negative answer of whatever cos of theta was. And what's the negative answer going to be? Well, it's going to be negative 0 0.83. Because as you can see, it's the same size, but it's now in the negative direction, not in the positive one.